Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative. Today we're actually gonna be taking a look at a really cool app called Roads by Porsche. So whether or not you guys actually own a Porsche or really any car, or you just like to drive whatever car it is that you own, this app is like a must have app. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the app, see how it works, and then we're actually gonna go carve our own road using the 2020 Porsche Cayenne Coupe that Porsche Center Calgary has been kind enough to let me take out. Let's dive in the car. We'll take a look at the app itself and some of the really cool features that you can get with it. So setting up the roads by Porsche app is quite easy. Um, once you're in, you obviously go in and set up your email but then you get to put in your own personal profile. You get to set up a photo of your personal car and then you get to kind of join the community. So a big part of what the Roads by Porsche app is all about kind of creating more community for you and driver enthusiasts like you that obviously just like driving their cool cars and getting around to some cool roads. So you can see all the different tabs here. There's events that you can be a part of all around the world. You can host your own events. You can join with people on the app. So tell your friends to get the app and from there you can invite them to the events that you are setting up all around the world. Roads by Porsche also curates some really cool stories for you, like cool destinations you can get to, like food destinations, architectural destinations, and you can even select by category where you wanna go. So people, heritage, gastronomy. Uh, so obviously like a Scottish road trip looks like a pretty good time if you're in Scotland. So in the next tab, guys, you can see that there's the roads tab. And the way that I've set mine up personally is based on distance so that I can see all the cool roads that people have driven that are close to me. It also tells you how far away it is from your location. And then once you get to that location, how long that drive is gonna take you. You can also sort it by rating, popularity, what's newest, and then how long that drive is. So for today, for example, we don't actually have quite enough time to go to any of these super cool roads that are around us in Banff. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna carve our own road for you guys. And then once we get out where we're going, we're actually gonna start our route on roads by Porsche. Another really cool feature about the Porsche Cayenne is that the Apple CarPlay and the Roads by Porsche app integrate together really well. So we can actually record it all on our Apple CarPlay. Let's get going. All right guys, so we've made it out to the lookout spot at Blue Rock Provincial Park. This is one of my favorite places to come just for a quick drive. Uh, you go to Turner Valley and then just out here. It's really not too far, but you get some nice little twisty roads. So I recorded my route here on the Roads by Porsche app, and I'm gonna put it in here as Blue Rock Provincial Park. Okay, so we've got a photo. So then I'm gonna upload the image that I just took of the Porsche Cayenne. You can decide what road style you want, scenic, Best season, let's call it fall is nice. And describe the road. Short drive. Livestock. <laughs> From Turner Valley, Alberta, comma, nice windy roads, exclamation point. Watch out for livestock, exclamation point. Done. So then from there, you're able to publish your road so that other people like you can take advantage of these beautiful roads here out in Turner Valley and around the world, guys. This is a global app, so invite your friends out, go do a cruise, use the Roads by Porsche app. If you find a sweet road, save it. Let us know where it's at, because we'd all love to have a go at it. Again, I want to thank Porsche Center Calgary so much for letting us take out this Cayenne Coupe. Uh, it's been such a blast. Go check them out. I'll leave a link to Porsche Center Calgary down below. And otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button for me. Hit the subscribe button and tap the bell so you know when I make those posts. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.